What's up? We're back for another reaction, and today we're going to be reacting to a video that honestly I'm a little nervous to put up and react to. We're going to watch a video. It seems like it's just a compilation of Norm McDonald and Norm McDonald. Sorry, Norm McDonald on White Privilege. Uh, really, I know Norm McDonald from Billy Madison and movies like that, and didn't really look at his stand-up comedy or whatnot. Uh, I know he was on an SNL and he was pretty funny there, but I honestly didn't watch it. He was kind of before my time, so I know he does inappropriate jokes, and yeah, this is nerve-wracking doing this, but hey, we're going to go for it. If it's funny, I'm going to laugh, so be warned. If it's funny, I don't care. I find, um, I hope this comes across right. I think that the whole white guilt thing is funny. It's kind of funny watching people being so dang neurotic and terrorized about being seen as a terror as a as a racist so you know because of that if there's ever a crazy idea and you're somewhat skeptical we can't really talk about it because that terror right yes i've been reading a lot of like i've been reading and listening to some like shelby Steele, Col coleman hughes as of late so those ideas aren't solely mine but again i think i think it's kind of a funny predicament my, and uh, I, I'm excited. I think this is going to be fun. So let's see what Norm MacDonald has to say. And let's just see how uh, many people we get mad for uh, watching this and thinking if it's funny. If it is indeed funny. Uh. <laughs> what, what just happened? Do you feel you, you have white privilege? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he just I, asks um, him. I will, I'm not allowed to answer those questions. Well, uh, being a old white guy with extra money. Your great uh, uh, special that is on uh, Netflix now, yeah. everybody should watch, is called? Straight White Male 60. Yeah, so you, you mm -hmm. labeled yourself in there. Well, I thought I just... Uh, that's what I was, <laughs> but but the only review I read of my special. Do you have white and privilege? Kids can look it up. But I think I was referenced as racist at least ten times. Even the bit I did about Irish people flying oh. an airplane. Yeah, and they didn't reference the the edgiest joke I've ever done, and I don't even know why I did it. Uh -huh. Imagine to my yeah. SNL fans. So here's 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 the joke. Yeah. Oh, I'm a straight white male, and I know I'm probably you know racist, sexist, xenophobic, homophobic, all that. You know? <laughs> That's good. And you know, and it's and I get it. My ancestors did some nasty stuff. I mean, they raped, pillared, plundered, took over countries, enslaved people. Yeah. But you got to admit, they were busy. <laughs> <laughs> you get the biggest laugh out of Norm. Okay, Norm, come to. My Yo, that's great. That's hilarious. My fifth grade class, I dare you. Uh, well, uh, well, where does she, is it in a, uh, are there black people there? <laughs> oh my oh, God. Where what does that have to five? do with it? Well, Why, is it harder if there's black because people there? Because black people are generally poor, and poor oh people are generally gosh. dangerous. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, I can't Norm. You just went there. <laughs> What, black people are rich? <laughs> Blind, they're black people span all the strata. No, 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 no. And you, you're saying you, that you gotta, white you people are poor. And, oh no, black God. people are <laughs> poorer <laughs> than white people. You didn't know that? Oh, dude. Are you telling Norm. me that you think black people... <laughs> what I'm saying is that I don't... I try not... I feel like I need to say something. If you're watching this and you don't think he's joking, just be careful. Just watch those thoughts. Calm down. That's why I'm laughing. Because I know what he's doing. That's... <laughs> Try not to pigeonhole people into, into black people truth. are poor. Not into the truth. But listen, there's a huge ignored middle class of black population out there. That's true. How dare you say black people are poor and therefore dangerous? Because I want them to be not poor. That's why. And really, how are you going to, what's your plan? My plan is to first of all uh, admit that the, the black people have less money than white people. Because we Black live in people, a racist society. Our phone society. number is 800-400-FM97. <laughs> oh if God. you'd like to talk with Norm McDonald, I'm sure he'd love to take your call Absolutely. right now. <laughs> Michelle, you're on the air. Oh. I just wanted to say that was one of the funniest things I've ever heard. And you need What, that black people are poor? It's you know, hilarious. The, the teacher thing, and oh. you need to probably act like you're not offended by that because first, you don't have a right to act like you're offended. And that was funny as hell. 
He is right about black people being poor. You know it. I know it. Oh, and my God. What it. has happened on this show? <laughs> what the heck well, just he happened? Well, he taught us yes, a lot today. Saying. I think moms. Oh, it's a learning show. Moms had an easy job. Teachers had an easy job. Where have you guys been job. living for the last 300 years Steve, in this country? All right, hold on. Paris, you are on the air. I think that that is completely untrue. Go I on. Not all black people are poor. Amen. Sister. Well, I didn't say that. That's what you No, said. you said I black said people black have people less money have than white people. Have less money than white people. You've yeah. been to West Virginia? Because there's some white people with no money there. Well, exactly. Well, okay, okay. You're saying one black person is uh, has more money than one yeah, white person? Like, what True. about Eddie Murphy? Yeah, what about Eddie Murphy? You're yeah. saying by and large, yeah, you're right. if, if you break you're right. it down. You're right. <laughs> yeah, of course, black people have less money than white people. In like a, as not an average, true. not all black people have less money than white. No, he's oh but he's talking God. in general. Okay. Oh we God. all get what he's saying. Listen, 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 listen. Guys in a wheelchair. There's a guy in a wheelchair that can go faster than me in a race. But if I said guys in wheelchairs are generally slower than me, you know? Come the on. way you said it was so harsh. <laughs> to Give say. me a head of shake. Give me a head of shake. <laughs> oh my God! All right, thank I you. Know. Hey, it's Danielle from Big Brother. Famously <laughs> black woman. Uh, <laughs> in a mule. I mean, my father is in a mule, but you know what? He's right. <laughs> he yeah. Right. Go on, Danielle. I mean, if you think that, there's been cases where uh, the same person will apply for a job, and at times, the other race gets the higher pay. I'm just keeping it real, folks. The All right. Thank you, Danielle. Yeah. Chunky, you're on. <laughs> Good morning, Abnormal. How are you? How are you, Chunky? Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, what about Mexicans? Are they hard workers, and are Jews stingy? What, what's the rest of it? And why don't white people have any culture in this country? And I totally hear you about the iPod. I'm sick of all my songs, too. All right. Uh, yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. to sum it all up, Norm MacDonald. <laughs> well, I'm saying that uh, having less... Try to offend everyone equally. Ha having less money or having or, or not having less money is not a na is not a product of your of your nature. It's It's... It's 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 that you don't have the money because the white people don't give you the money. <laughs> it's actually supportive of black people to say that actually. Seven oh seven says. Of course, I'm supportive of black people. These I'm in, wow. a, I'm in a room of You're racists. That to, to have justice, oh we my god! Have people, uh... The four one five. The four one five says maybe we That's should educate funny. our children, a la Lord of the Flies. Norm. Just throw all the kids on an island and let them sort out their own society. I can't read that. Yeah, that would probably be better. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> sure, throw them in there and just let the weak, sur the weak uh, be killed and the strong survive. And Jews no, that's what. Listen, money. that's I mean, what. That's, that's what. That's is. what we're doing as adults. That you know, we're uh, we're doing that as adults. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with that. We are. I just got handed a note. <laughs> Do you want to keep him for the next segment? At this point, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm finding Norm to be uh, somewhat on the offensive side. You know what, though? I love that he's saying all this stuff and then looks over with a big smile. I know, and big it's, smile. <laughs> he's like, oh, man, they're going to talk about this all day. Well, uh, I didn't know that everyone. I thought I thought uh, San Francisco was a little more open than uh, No, San Francisco actually they're isn't. They're racist? Isn't, no, they're not <laughs> racist. Well, so far. So far, by the way, most people have agreed with me. <laughs> Lindsay, you're on the air. Hey, Norm. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, I teach fifth grade. Uh huh? Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's hard. I mean, <laughs> and black people are rich. And I have some black kids in my class that are way richer and way smarter than some of the white kids. So. Okay, well, you know what? Black people are are richer than white people. Thank I, you. I made a mistake. Thank you. John, you're on the air. Hey, Norm. Hey. Hey, man. You were, what is this? You were the greatest thing that ever happened at Saturday Night Live. Ah, uh, thanks, man. That's yeah, nice to say. Yeah, the greatest updates ever. He did Howard Letterman. Oh, All right, cool. thank you, John. All right, here's you know what we're going to do. Oh, what? Go ahead. I, Go ahead. Are we going to do another segment with him or not? I almost think we have to. Because I actually was in the audience when I, you know how I went to Saturday Night Live that one time? I do, and this is one of you my favorite stories. You did the stories. update. All right, yeah. hold on, yeah, hold yeah. that thought. We uh. are going to take a quick break. When we come back, Norm and his babysitter Steve will still be here, <laughs> offending Frumsey. people left so, and right. Oh, sorry that I'm not like Stevie Ray. I haven't been talking in a while, but this is just like, like you know that he's just trolling and seeing how mad people can get. And oh my gosh, I'm. Man, I don't know if I can post this, bro. I'm going to get in trouble. But it's just... It's, <laughs> dude. Like the shock factor, man. It's hilarious.
from We're Steve. not offending anyone but racists. How do you figure? <laughs> to make a sweeping generalization that belittles gen it, it it's is. It's not a sweeping generalization. It's a statistical fact, and it belittles no one. It, it, it only... It only states a fact that I hope we can change in this country. If we're going to pretend that black and white people make the same amount of money, then uh, then nothing will ever change. Come on. You know that. Can't we just see it as everybody? Who... Well, we can see it any way you <laughs> want it. If you want to pretend. Sarah's looking for some <laughs> you want clean to live in a fantasy house. world. I am. And I'm... you're not going to find no, it. No, there's right. not a clean house. You're digging. I'm breaking. You're digging deeper we'll and deeper. We'll be back. Allison 97.3, Norm MacDonald, and Stevie Ray from I can't believe, are I can't believe he's doing this. The texts are great. Yes. And thanks for the phone calls to 800-400-FM97. I'm turning that down. I just can't believe that he's in San Francisco doing this. <laughs> like, my gosh. Black woman, Norm is right and hysterical. Sarah, you're living in a fantasy land if you think we're all equals. 805 says, rude. I'm a second grade teacher and I hate you. <laughs> what was Rude. his teacher? Joke? That sounds like a second grade teacher. <laughs> oh, uh, no, Jimmy, that was just rude. Can well, we yeah, think of another way to, to say a, that? To be a second grade teacher, you just have to be smarter than a second grade student. <laughs> That's oh not the gosh. only thing you have to be. Oh, wow. Yeah, basically, you need third grade intelligence. <laughs> To teach second grade, you know everything that they need to know. I am, I'm laughing, and my wife uh, is a third grade a teacher. Grade okay, teacher, you know, if you're hey, a third here's grade a teacher, question. You need fourth grade. Isn't that funny I that I just did that? No. What? Isn't that funny that we do that? If we laugh at certain jokes, we then say, "Oh, well, I have black friends," or "Oh, I have Asian friends," or "Oh, I have teacher friends." They're jokes, man. Why? What? <laughs> but it, but I think it's funny that I automatically did that. I was just like, I can laugh at that because my wife is a teacher. It's kind of ironic. We try to uh, defend our, what would you call it? Comment down below if you know what, what the frick I'm trying to say here. Why do I always hear this <laughs> from uh, women? Okay, what? That women make less money than men. I don't believe that that's, that's true racist. in every case. And I don't it's, believe that is Of course racist. not true in every case. <laughs> Not true for this me. is what he's trying to point yeah, out. No, right. not, not the case in this room. Exactly. I think things are changing, and see, I think that when see, it comes I to think, racism, things are changing, I think too. That black I, lady, I'm trying to look for the positive. I think that black lady made a good point. That Which you, one? Uh, that I'm I living in fantasy I think her name was Ruth, land. that you're living in a fantasy land because the black people that you encounter probably make a lot of money. Anyway. 707 on a text says, <laughs> I wish I was a fly on the wall during that last break. I think I heard Sarah yelling uh, at Norm up here in Healdsburg. I wasn't yeah, yelling. Every, every black <laughs> no, person Sarah. I interview in this program has lots of money. <laughs> wow. No, she actually said she was wrong during that break. Yeah, which never has happened. No, I uh, said, ever. what I said was, I'll just say I'm wrong. What just happened? What is this? Nina, you're on Ambient. Okay, I was about to say, like, what the heck is this? What's happening? Yeah, listen, the status in the society today is white man, black man, white woman, black woman. That's, you you that's think that's the hierarchy? That is the hierarchy. I actually have been doing HR statistical analysis for 13 years, and the perfect HR, example uh, of that is they're going to elect a black African-American president before they elect a white woman or a black woman African um, a president. I okay, agree. That's a I agree. Example right there. I agree completely with what she's saying. That that hierarchy yeah. is exactly right. So it no matter exactly what, right. if you're a man, you're at an advantage, and no yeah, matter what, I if mean, you're a woman, black or white, yeah, you're at a disadvantage. We, women, we do everything, and we get no credit. We get no pay. You got to go out there and get it. I mean, I get my money because I act like a guy when I'm asking for a raise, and women ought to start doing that. You know, show me the money. Ask that. Let's all do the Cuba Gooding Jr. dance. Yeah. Show Acting like a guy. Like being assertive is acting like a guy, isn't it? It's just being assertive and not less agreeable. Just be less agreeable and you can make more money. Don't act like a guy. There was a long time where I was in, I was way too agreeable. People were running over, taking advantage of me all the time. It's not their fault. Was I acting womanly? If we were to joke, I guess we would say that. But it's just being less agreeable and assertive. The frick kind of crap is that? Absolutely.
Sorry, that rubbed me the wrong way. All right, thank Absolutely. you, Nina. Let's start our own. Uh, let's start our own movement, shall we? Uh, you got it. And by the way, the hardest job spurred on by Norm McDonald. The hardest job in the world is HR because I have to deal with squirrely people on a daily basis. <laughs> the hardest job in the world is HR. Gosh. I mean, every job's hard. Why do we have to freaking compare? Man, remo- I need to find out who that. Who that uh, man, I don't even want to put it. I, I feel like I, I'll get in trouble by genderizing here. I uh, I hope I find out who that person is, so I make sure I freaking never apply wherever she's at. My goodness, squirrely. All right, thanks, Nina. <laughs> okay, hey, bye. <laughs> Thank you, means. Laura. You're on. People squirrely. who don't want to come out and say hi, everyone. Like hi there. Hi, I Laura. just wanted to give some love to Norm. Put all the intense talk aside because I know he's Norm so bitchy is just today. Isn't he? It's not intense. He's smiling and laughing and sitting back and laughing as Sarah just turns it's mad bright her. red. <laughs> I know. That's I don't understand why people get so upset when he's just making observations of what he sees in daily life. All right. Thank you. Nine two five says that is what he's Norm. that is what he's going into. Right. He is technically making. From a statistical point, an observation, and he knows that the observation would be hated in our society, so he just says it. And he just watches people just get pissed. And that's the joke. That's hilarious. It's freaking genius. Storm is so freaking funny from the working mom. Oh, yes. Which I think Sweet. means she's a mom that's and works. Job. That's tough, boy. Uh, and now, uh, <laughs> That's says, tough. Uh, Sarah is an uptake bitch living in fantasy land. She's keeping her cool because Norm is there, but if it were anyone else, she'd be throwing her usual fit. Norm rules. Uh, and, uh, Sarah, that, you, no. do, you do look a little like you're about to... I know. You do mad. look a little restrained. Well, but you're passionate. You're passionate, and that's what makes you so attractive to me sometimes. Really? It does. Oh you, have, you have a lot of passion. I'm all bundled up today, too. But I can tell you got passion. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, Norm and Steve. This is our first fight. Oh. I'm kicking you guys out of here now. Uh, we actually have to break here at Tommy T's all weekend uh, long. It is great to see you oh, next you time. Too. I'll be more prepared for your stunning statements that just came out of left field. <laughs> I have to say, I get so pissed because I can. Are feel, you going to rethink I, it now that everybody agrees with me? In the no, world? we're not going to rethink it at all. You're not going to. You, I mean, you know like what? No, she's going to have a better that, argument next time. Yes, is that's what right. It'll I'm going to fight this fight <laughs> mentally for the next six months. Okay. Well, that was fun. My gosh. All right. Well, first off, this video is like 17 minutes long right now. Thank you for watching. If you did to this point, like, subscribe if you thought this was fun. Uh, if you have any other ideas of things I should watch, please let me know. But uh, one of the things that I hope I can do on my channel, one, you know, I, I record these so that one day my kids can watch them. And I want them to know just how, how much we all were walking on eggshells during this time. Because I honestly believe this is going to stop. Because it has to. And you know what? I think comedians are are... are are playing an important part in that to snap us out of this and like stop taking every little thing so dang seriously letting any little thing become an excuse and something to get mad about like my gosh man my gosh i i grew up i i grew up with a lot of people who the first excuse to everything that ever happened to them especially when i moved here to utah and I didn't hang out with much, much white people at the start because we tend as people to sort ourselves out for some reason. And gosh, everything, the excuse was race. And it's like, you didn't, yeah, sorry. So I appreciated that video. That was freaking hilarious, man. Great stuff. If you have anything else uh, of Norm McDonald's or comedians making fun of this whole white guilt predicament send it my way because i think it's funny and i enjoy watching it much love till the next one get moving peace